Hello guys, how are you? This is a build of the 172 English Electric Lightning, uh, the F2A version from Airfix. Um, I just wanted um, a build to relax a bit, okay? Uh, I also used a photo edge set for the cockpit, but that one is for the trumpeter one, so I didn't get to use it all. Um, but despite all, uh, I had two sets here so I could ruin, let's say, one. And in fact, the kit, the cockpit kit, um, went a bit better. The decals are fantastic, as always, on Airfix. And uh, the kit was uh, pretty good, pretty good. I had tremendous fun on this one. Uh, stencils, a lot of stencils. Uh, it was a bit of a small nightmare, but I enjoyed it thoroughly. And I hope you just enjoy this one, because this one was only made for a bit of fun, relaxation, uh, for me to test a new uh, video editing program. So I hope you guys enjoy it and see you soon. start on the usual place when building a um, plane, a jet kit, the cockpit. As I told you, I got to use the trumpeter um, photo edge set for it. The instrument panel, a uh, bit of um, the, the chair, the pilot ejection seat, uh, the ejection handles I also adapted and um, I enjoyed very much work on this one. I didn't get to use uh, a lot of the P set. However, the instrument panel, some levers, and as you can see here, uh, some seat belts, which I, to be honest, I removed because I placed the pilot, um, were used also. I always liked this jet, uh, exotic in its shapes and its performance was uh, his performance was fantastic so what I did was I wanted to put this jet in flight um, for that I used an airfix an old airfix base that I have here after finishing it I realized that I will make uh, or order one um, specifically for this jet in order for him to be better on a desk, on a shelf, whatever. But for this purpose, for this video, it will be finished on an airfix space. Also had here um, a bit of a reminiscence uh, of black glossy paint from the Spitfire, and also some silver paint from the Spitfire. I didn't get to use it all, so I thought instead of throwing that paint away, of it drying, I should have used it, uh, and thus this build, this library and the paint I am going to use, which is the same one as the Spitfire.
Now we are going to deal with this seam line. As you know, silver, all metallic as it is, you have to be very careful with the seam lines because if you can see a seam line through other colors on silver, it will pop up for miles. So you have to be gentle, but at the same time you have to cover up that uh, little seam line. I really like Mr. Dissolved Putty. It's liquid plastic on a dissolvent and it is fantastic. It fills the gap and once you sand it, it's, it, it all becomes straight and very, very, very similar. It's fantastic. Obviously after sanding and covering the seam line you have to restore all uh, panel lines lost. After assembling all the kit, let's uh, first prime it with Tamiya uh, spray can and then proceed to paint with glossy black, the reminiscence paint from the Spitfire and uh, further ahead the silver one also from uh, the Spitfire, the one I used to build the Spitfire. I never uh, prime with the airbrush unless I don't have any spray can. I know that in video would be much beautiful if I used the airbrush to prime it all, but if I have a spray can guys, and if you all have also, why don't you use the... all you have to do is careful with the amount of paint that goes out of the can.
down some paneling and for this I am using an uh, aluminum mat. And now let's paint the top blue on top of this silver painting. Um, I am using again an ombre blue color uh, can, spray can. Again, if I have the spray can here, only I have to be careful with the amount of paint that is sprayed into the model. So I am not using my airbrush. I am going to use it to cover all over the kit with uh, paper and spray the blue on top of it. stencils and the decals and uh, this one had a lot of stencils. Uh, approximately 20% of 15 to 20% of paint and the remaining 80 75% of enamel thinner you mix it thoroughly until it is almost like a filter you know very thin and you apply it after only after giving the kit a coat of clear varnish this time I gave it a Gaussie, AK Gaussie uh, agent uh, clear coat. Here I didn't like the um, pito or the tip of this um, jet and plastic so I used a needle. I cut the needle and it simulated um, the pito, let's call it, and it went very very well.
and after placing the canopy, painting the canopy and uh, putting the pilot, painting the pilot also. I finished this kit. As I told you, I'm going to use a better base for it. Right now it will be at an old Airfix uh, stand that I painted on chrome with spray from Umbro also. Uh, just wanted to say thank you for watching this one guys if you like this one please uh, subscribe click on that notification bell and uh, if you really enjoyed this one and uh, want to uh, help me to keep my hobby just a bit stable uh, consider supporting me on patreon also and guys as always as always thank you for watching and keep modeling keep modeling always always with a smile